is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 18 for you guys we got some swappages and switches that we're gonna do honestly it should be 17.5 i'm gonna call it 18 but it should be 17.5 because we're not going to do so much today it's more of uh i just have a few things to talk about and then uh, we are going to do some surgery though we got our figures right here and I'm going to go ahead and get into the switches that we're going to be doing. And one of them I'm very, or the only really switch that we're going to be doing. And I'm very, very excited about it. We do have both of these figures right here. We have my custom Elite Tyler Bate that was made by BEW a long, long time ago. And uh, I'm so happy that I'm going to replace it today. It kind of sucks though. We are going to be losing the arm tattoo. So I'm going to have to redo the arm tattoo. But we are going to be upgrading my Tyler Bate. You guys can see that first of all, let's get into Mattel's here. Mattel made the head scan that looked nothing like Tyler Bate. And they made him super duper pale. And they made him super duper small. I know he's small. But he's kind of, you know, he's got some muscle tone to him. I don't know why. I mean, I guess this body mold works, but he's totally way too pale. I mean, look at this. He looks like Jack Gallagher. That's not accurate. He's not Seamus' skin color. You know what I'm saying? He's got some color. He's got the Seth Rollins. He's got the Daniel Bryan skin tone at least. And I think they could have gotten away with maybe even giving him the Seth Rollins style torso. But we're not going to get into that. Here's the head scan. This is a Elite 20 Cody Rhodes head scan, I do believe. And uh, BEW did make this. And it looks sort of like Tyler Bates. It's definitely um, a better head scan than Mattel gave us. And I'm no longer going to be use using this. I think that uh, it is considered itself obsolete and it should be deleted. So this one right here is going to be, we're going to be getting rid of this. The only thing we're going to be using from this figure is the boots. So we're going to be taking these boots off of this custom elite Tyler Bate. And we're going to be putting them on my old referee right here. And this figure is basically, I'm pretty sure it's an Elite 32 Daniel Bryan with Dean Malenko lower legs, I think. And this is how I created this referee. And all we're going to do is so you guys can see the socks there. We're going to switch these Bob Backlund Elite 63 Walmart exclusive boots onto the Daniel Bryan body. Eventually, not today, I'm going to paint over all this in black. We're going to make a Tyler Bate custom. And for the head scan, we're not going to be using this head scan. We're going to be using this beautiful head scan from my boy Steinberg, my boy Cody. It looks just like Tyler Bate, and it's kind of scary. This is a Billy Gunn Jax R3 head scan. And how in the hell did Jax make a Tyler Bate figure way before Tyler Bate was even thought of? That makes no sense. It literally, like, it literally makes zero sense. I don't know why or how this looks just like Tyler Bate, but you guys can see. I mean, this, this is going to go perfectly on here, and then we're going to have ourselves a better-looking Tyler Bate, and we're going to compare them at the end when we switch these black boots over there and everything. Again, I am going to lose the arm tattoo. Sucks Fruit Loops that we're going to be losing that tattoo there, but uh, we'll get we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it fixed. We'll, we'll put that tattoo on there eventually, and uh, I also have some new WWE action figure clothing that we're going to show you guys, and... <laughs> We got this back here, and I just. <laughs> but, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into these swappages. Alright, guys, so our first order of business is going to be taking the white hair dryer and getting these black and white boots off of the custom and putting them on the brand new. Oh my god. Putting them on the brand new Tyler Bay custom, which is going to look 122 times better. I calculated it specifically. And let's see what we got. Son of a bitch, man. You can't even, like, God almighty, you can't even just hold your position for just a second or two to get heated up. You gotta blow all over the daggum place. Just, 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 just. My God, I should have known there's wheels on this wheelchair. My God, just stay in place. What do I have to do? Alright guys, that should be long enough. Let's see what we got right here. Popping off Tyler Bates' left boot and his right boot. They literally fall right off, so that's that's good. These should do the same. And with these short boots, it's really difficult. I don't know why Mattel makes it so difficult with these shorter boots. I don't think it's their fault necessarily. They, I don't know what it is. They, they just don't go on like regular boots. They, they're really, really tough. Like, see, I can't even get this on. I remember... 
when I first got into this hobby, guys, and I was trying to switch out Stone Cold boots, I used to, oh man, I used to get so frustrated with these. They would not go on. Like, I'd heat them up for, for literally 16 hours, and they still just would not go on. Instead, they would just be a, a heaping pile of melted plastic. That's not a true story, but it is true that I did struggle. I'm just not stupid AF to where I would heat it up long enough to where it would be a melted pile of plastic. Uh, you guys would know that. But anyways, getting in here... Switching out the black boots onto the older Tyler Bate, and honestly, guys, I'm probably going to be selling this custom Tyler Bate with the Cody Rhodes head scan, most likely. So if you guys uh, like this figure or want to purchase it or trade or whatever, um, it's going to be up for trade. I guarantee you that. So be on the lookout for that post or whatever. If I could get these stupid boots on. Alright, got the left boot. Alright, we did get the black boots on that. We'll take a look at that at the end. But now what we have to do is pop the uh, Tully Blanchard head scan off of the new Tyler Bate body. Alright guys, maybe this will pop off. Let's see if Tully Blanchard's head scan will come off. It will. Now all we have to do is take our custom Tyler Bate head scan. You don't have to heat this up. Um, I'm pretty sure he drilled this hole big enough to where this should just pop on here. And it does. And we'll take a look at that at the end. And alright guys, now that we've switched out all of our stuff, now I'm going to be opening these new WWE action figure t-shirts that my, my good friend Chick Foley, Sheena from Chick Foley, did send these over. And they are custom Chick Foley t-shirts, guys. And if you guys do not follow her on Instagram, her Instagram is Chick Foley, and she has a sick AF podcast called The Chick Foley Show. You can find it on iTunes, you can find it on Spotify, and I think a few other sources. I'm not exactly sure. I listen to it on iTunes. You need to go download it. Very interesting. She has a podcast that talks about WWE. She talks about WWE figures and pickups and stuff. Her and one of her friends, Phil, they get on there. They, they talk about it. They're really funny. They're entertaining, and I enjoy listening to them every single week. And this is a promotion for the show, so you definitely need to go subscribe to it and listen. It's very entertaining, again, like I said. And I cannot wait to put these on my figures. I have a couple. It says these are Ultimate Warrior size, so like a bigger guy like Ultimate Warrior, Triple H, Batista. Guys like that will be wearing these. I got two gray and two black. I will definitely put these in the crowd. I'm going to have some support going for the Chick Foley Show. And my good friend Sheena and Phil over there at the Chick Foley Show. Cannot wait. And what I'm going to do for Sheena now is I'm going to be putting this black t-shirt on her favorite wrestler of all time. And I think she'll really get a kick out of this. And there you have it, Sheena. I know you're a massive Samoa Joe fan. And I know that you love that he's wearing your t-shirt. This is obviously just a joke. I know that she's not a very big fan of Samoa Joe. Just wanted to pick at her a little bit there. And um, yes, thank you so much, Sheena, for the awesome shirts. I cannot wait to put these in the crowd. Like I said, we'll find them some good crowd members. Maybe I can get some custom figures of you and Phil, and I can put them in the MDT arena, and we'll have them supporting MDT Live and Vindication every single show, and I think that will be pretty freaking sweet, and we'll throw the t-shirts on them. Maybe we can make Hill Husband and everything, and we'll get them thrown in the crowd, and it'll be a good time, but uh, let's go ahead and check out everything we did here on WWE Action Figure Surgery, and we will move on. So here's everything that we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Guys, you guys can see that the Tyler Bate in the middle looks good, but I, I think I need to switch off that neck peg. It just looks like he has sort of a giraffe neck a little bit but the rest of the figure looks good i love the black and white boots i like the white socks and it does look just like tyler Bate. i just got to get rid of all these daniel bryan logos and i'm definitely gonna have to shorten that neck peg i don't know if is it me or is it too long i don't know i may just be seeing stuff but it looks like it's a little bit too long in my opinion but i do like it better than the pale cody rhodes tyler Bate over here this definitely looks better even with the giraffe neck it looks better and, of course, we did get our beautiful t-shirts from the Chick Foley Show. Sheena from Chick Foley, thank you so much, guys. Definitely go subscribe to her podcast at Chick Foley. I'll leave a link in the description for you to go do that. As well as go follow her on Instagram. Very entertaining Instagram page. She has a ton of following, and she's an absolute beast. And you guys should definitely go listen to her. Thank you so much, Sheena. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, <laughs> oh, man, oh, man.